Hey there, this is Handyman007, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a puzzle for you. How do you draw, and cut, a perfect circle? Well, the obvious answer, is by using a compass. No, not this compass, but this, compass. Easy, right? But what if you needed to draw a really big circle, and you have to cut it, on a half inch thick plywood? Something like this. Now I doubt a compass, and a pair of scissors, will do the job. So keep on watching, and I'll show you how. Let's get one thing out of the way first. Why in the world would I, or you, need to cut an enormous circle out of wood? Well, here's a practical application. This is our water tank, and for the longest time, we have been using a shower curtain as its makeshift cover. And I gotta say, it's both ingenious, and pathetic. And today, I wanted to build a proper lid for it. But as you can see, the tank's opening is circular. And obviously, I want to match the lid with its shape. Building a lid for this tank, is something I cannot just eyeball, or guesstimate. My measurements need to be precise. And to do that, I wrap a string around the tank, ideally very near the brim, because this is the part where the lid will rest on. With my fingers, I mark the part of the string where it meets itself around the tank. Then I cut it. Now the length of this cut string, represents the perimeter, or more technically, the circumference of our circle. Since I'm doing this alone, I use a clothespin, to pinch one end of the string to our fence. Then holding the other end, I stretch the string taut, so I can measure the length of the string with a tape measure. It measures 99.5 inches. Thus, the circumference of our circle, is 99.5 inches. And if we know the circumference, we can compute for the diameter, by dividing it by pi, or 3.14. Which gives us a diameter of, 31.68 inches. But since I want my lid to have at least an inch of, overhang, all around the tank, I add 2 inches, and round up. The result, is 34 inches. This, is the diameter of the circle I need to draw, and cut. This, is a 4 by 8 feet, 3 quarters inch thick, marine plywood. By the way, whenever you buy a 3 quarters inch plywood, from any hardware store, what you will actually get, is only about half an inch thick. Conversely, when you buy a half inch thick plywood, what you actually get, is only about one quarter inch thick. Such is the nominal and actual sizes of lumber, which I will explain in another video. Maybe? For now, what we need to focus on, is drawing, and cutting, a 34 inch circle out of this plywood. But first, I need to cut a 36 inch square, wherein we will draw and cut, our 34 inch circle. I do this because it's much easier to move a small square around, rather than move around the entire rectangular plywood. Bear with me, it will make more sense in a bit. Promise. Now that we have our 36 inch square, I need to find and mark its center. To do this, I draw two straight diagonal lines, that connect the corners. The point where the diagonal lines intersect, is our center. I then hammer a nail through the center, deep enough for the nail to be stable. Then I tie one end of a string around the nail. From the center, I measure and mark the radius of our circle. Radius, is any straight line extending from the center of a circle, to its circumference. In other words, the radius of a circle, is half its diameter. So, if the diameter is 34 inches, then the radius of our circle, is 17 inches. Keeping the string taut, I then tie its other end around a pencil. While tying the knot, I make sure that the string is extended in such a way, that the tip of the pencil, is resting on the radius, which I marked on the wood earlier. All that's left to do now, is to draw a circle with the pencil, all the while letting the tension of the string, guide my hands. I suggest making at least two passes, so that the pencil mark is heavy enough, to easily see during cutting. As you can see, our circle is easily seen on this wooden square. Now it's time to remove the nail. It has served its purpose. As for cutting the wood, while it is possible to use a handsaw, it sure is going to take a lot of time and finesse. And this is where using a jigsaw, would make the job much easier, and quicker. Yes, jigsaws can cut straight lines, as you may have seen in my other videos. 
but the jigsaw's true advantage becomes really evident when cutting irregular shapes like a circle so here we go does it now become obvious why i cut a square first it's so much easier to maneuver and adjust our square template on this overhang just imagine how cumbersome it would be if i was cutting this circle directly from a humongous eight by four feet rectangular plywood My circle's minor imperfections can be easily addressed, by sanding everything. I know, I know, this water tank cover, is far from complete. I still need to cut a few sections here and there, to accommodate any protruding feature along the tank's brim. I also need to add mounting supports underneath, so the whole assembly becomes wind resistant. Of course, I'm still missing handles, and I haven't even decided yet what kind of handles will I use. Finally, I still have to coat everything, with water resistant paint. Obviously. But all of that, is reserved for another video. So make sure you are subscribed, and have hit the bell icon, to get notified of future uploads. In any case, I hope you were able to pick up a thing or two today. This is Handyman007, and you, can, do this.